what seems to be the trouble? I'm nervous. Yes, I see, I understand. Hmm? Well, uh, you must relax, of course. Excuse me, do you mind if I put this out? Oh. Ow! <laughs> now, just relax. You see, the nervous that people are reason. <laughs> the reason that people are nervous is that they are basically insecure. They don't trust anything or anybody. Sometimes, exactly what seems to make you so nervous? Nervous. It's just that I'm afraid. Uh-huh. <laughs> My dear young man, basically every one of us is afraid. But we must face life realistically and ask, what is there to be afraid of? Is there anything to be afraid of? There's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> We must tell you. Please lie down. On the couch. On the couch. <laughs> now, this is a word test. And I... Oh, I'll erase that. <laughs> this is a word test. I will say a word. And you will say the first word that comes into your mind. In that way, we'll find out what the trouble is. Ready? Set. Go, come. No, no, no. Yes. Wait. Elephant. I... Elephant? Uh -huh. Open. Shut. Down. Up. White. Shut up. Uh-huh. Now. Uh, pay attention. Life. Death. White. Death. Death. Why? I know what the trouble is. What? I hate my wife. <laughs> but now, we must help you. Tell me something about your home life. Do you have any little ones? Well, once in a while before a meal, maybe a couple of lunch. That's true. It never hurts your body, you know? That's true. Well, that doesn't sound like a problem. What is your problem? Uh, I have a split personality. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I see. What uh, kind of talk is that? I want to say, I have a split personality. Inside, I am really two people, me and Charlie. Hey, Charlie. I see. You realize, of course, that this will affect your bill. <laughs> ah, no, no, no. Save it for the end. <laughs> anything to get rid of Charlie or say baby. Hey, listen. Now listen, my dear young man. Charlie is just a delusion. He doesn't exist. Once you realize that, you're cured. Don't you realize that? Yes. You're cured. Good. <laughs> I'm cured. I'm cured. What do you, what do you say to that, Charlie? I'm cured. What did he no. say? He's, uh, he wants to say, so he wants to talk to his handler. No, no, no. You mustn't let him. Sit down in this chair right here. No, no, no. Open. Let me talk to him. If they get rid of us, it would be me. Hey. Right? <laughs> Open. <laughs> hey, what time is it? <laughs> Open. Ah, listen, Charlie, I know you're not there. You may be able to bulldoze him, but I'm a psychiatrist, and I know you're not there. Shaking your fist like that's not going to help you, Charlie. <laughs> listen, I'm still talking to Charlie, and trust me, open, trust me. I got him! <laughs> listen, you are rid of Charlie. You're rid of your teeth, you're rid of your guns. Hey, for a week, you have gas. That's all. <laughs> Once again, science has conquered the delusions of the mind. I have conquered. I have triumphed. I have... Oh, gee, ooh, I have Charlie. I did you down. Charlie, I have Charlie. Okay, why did I show this to you? <laughs> I wanted to use this to illustrate what I call the split persona. They referred to it as a split personality. Now keep in mind, in comedy, there's truth. And what is presented as truth is comedy. All right? This little skit just told you the truth. The character that Dean Martin was playing 
suffered from what he called a split personality. If you look at some of my older videos on this channel, War Backwards is Raw, you will see my reference to the split persona. Now let me illustrate that for you. <clears throat> Abraham Lincoln is Jefferson Davis. In other words, the head of the North is the same as the head of the South. Let me say it differently. Jefferson Davis is Abraham Lincoln. The same actor plays both parts. The only difference is in their appearance is Abraham Lincoln never had good hairdos and always looked kind of gruff. And of course Jefferson Davis looked like a gentleman. Well, you know, if you put the two side by side, you will see it is the same individual. Now, I could go on with other examples. For example, D.W. Griffith, the great film director, producer in the early silent years, plays Woodrow Wilson. Another example is Ernest Hemingway plays Castro, the first Castro. Numerous people play these parts, but the very first Castro is Ernest Hemingway. Eric Hoffer, the, the uh, researcher and the, uh, the writer and speaker, Eric Hoffer, the book that we know him from is The True Believer, plays Khrushchev. They're all phonies. All the big so-called personalities of history are phonies. Now the skit just told you that he had a split personality. And that is the truth. Many, many, many of these performers also play another part in the stage of history, the theater of history. And that's what you know as history, because that's what we all have been taught. We've all been taught the theater aspect. Now, my channel, I'm trying to uncover that for you and to show you the lies. There are many others out there that do a real decent job showing you the lies. So when you watch anything at all on the mainstream, keep in mind, they are all actors. All. They are a split persona. In other words, many of them are other actors, but you haven't identified them yet. So, I'll try to help you identify some of them. Many other channels out there do a pretty good, decent job at, at identifying these. So I just wanted to show you this little clip to illustrate what I have called all along the split persona. And you can check out some of my very early videos on this channel. Some of the very first ones that I did, I used that concept and I will still use it in all my work. I'd like to thank you for watching and I'd like to acknowledge that when you know the Lord, you don't have a split personality. You are the created individual that God has made you, body, soul, and spirit. And with the Holy Spirit, 
in your life you can understand these things and cut right through the deception and you can have discernment. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. End of video.